Intuition 5, Mind and Spirit, might as well. And equip the spirit then, to get the good fortune on. So the flawed monk gem is shit. I see, so green. This one's blue and green. This one's blue, so blue equals spirit. This one's red, red equals body. Green equals a mixture of spirit and something, I think. Yeah. Master Gambler. <laughs> Master Gambler was the scourge of betting houses across the empire. Rumor has it that one would never know he was a present. What do you mean? A, you mean a peasant, don't you? A pre, he was a ah, he was a present <laughs> until it was too late, because he would always lose every single game until the very end, when he would reach into his pocket and finger his lucky gem, which would bolster his intuition and bring him victory in the final and most expensive gamble. So you don't need an amulet, you just need to finger them. <laughs> the young family was well respected in the imperial city and had a tradition of dedicating their lives to public, pu pu public service. They, uh, they served as town guards and city officials. For many generations they were renowned for their force of personality, able to get what they wanted from others. Through rep reputation and physical presence passed down from father to son, through each generation was an heirloom, a simple gem that was always prominently worn. The gem, gentle persuasion, was eventually gambled away by unlucky heir, and fates conspired to disgrace the family shortly heir. Oh, great. The gems have a life history, and it's somehow written all over them. <laughs> Let's do bongo. Ah, oh, found him. I can't believe Two Rivers is gone. It was home. The people there were the only family I've known. And now, they're all gone. Yeah. I understand, Dawnstar. But the path you are on may lead to even darker places. You must prepare yourself. I don't want to think like that. We will set things right. We have to. She's right. More killing won't bring our friends back. I don't think we can. We have... <laughs> I know. That time you made that face. I just wish there was a way to put things back the way they were. Damn you, bitch, I was right about that peasant. You were wrong. You saw him pull that spear. Get a spear ready. Need a crowbar. Get these wooden planks off. Ooh, tree. That's the one thing this is, that's missing from this game. Interaction with... Well... Non-people. Well, the only interaction is the boxes and things you can open. But I mean things like that. Fish sign. Landmarks. It would be nice if he said something about landmarks. Like, oh, look at this fish statue. Or says what it says on it, because I can't read it. Or maybe even this. Look, there's a village over there. <laughs> Let's go to that village. Oh, they're ghosts. Ghost. Ghost man. Oh, she teleports. I didn't know you teleported. Teleporter. Teleporter. I'm looking at her, so she's not going to teleport. Ah, she might now. I'm not looking at her. Watch her teleport. Come on, bitch. Teleport. Where the fuck am I going? Ah, I saw you. More things to kill. <laughs> I do not understand you, woman. Stranger, forgive me for being so forward. You're wise. Turn around and piss off. Mother and I are getting out of this town. If you have any sense, you'll do the same. Do I have any sense? I need a sense stone. Once we are outside town, very careful. Your warnings won't scare me away, peasant. I'm so calm. I'm so calm. 
Peasant? You're a peasant yourself, aren't you? Who are you? Who are you? I'm Yifong. A simple villager. I've always lived here. Now let's take it down to the Danta. It's sure to be more exciting than this dead place. Don't you like dead places? You have goats. You can suck the milk out of them and fucking eat them. Yeah. You can eat those trees. Tacky looking trees. <laughs> I didn't notice that. They're like the those cutout, cardboard cutout ones, aren't they? You can see it if you look at the middle part. There's that dark greenish part. It's like the cardboard cutouts. Don't leave. Perhaps I can save the town. What good? I can't see his little. Ah, oh, that that looks like the angry face. What good would running do? Why not find a solution? Coward disengages your daughter. What would good would running do? You don't know the whole story. Pay someone. I prefer if they did the whole thing in this fucking foreign tongue. Then I could read. Yeah, it's interesting the way I read. Because I can read it all in an instant. Just by looking at it, I don't have to think about it. Whereas the Japanese, you look at it. Even the part I can read, even though I don't understand it. I mean, the hiragana and katakana, I can read that. But I take my time reading it. I can't just look at it and know. Uh, the English, I can just look at it, I know everything, yeah. Instant, I know it all in instant, sort of. They didn't think things will be any better if you leave town. Wilderness very dangerous, so you take the cow's path. Those cheeks suck themselves in as well. Fat cheek, fin cheek, fat cheek, fin cheek, fat cheek. It looks a bit different, they look tighter cheeks. What are those things you got on your head? Because <laughs> the monks, they usually, um, I don't know, they usually put dots in their head or shave the, like his hair is, see the darkish part of his hair? They usually shave away, I don't know what they're, I'm not sure, that, maybe, no, I think they burn it away, like cigarettes. They burn the patches on their head. He's got like white patches there. What is that? Your skull. Did they go too deep with the fire? So you take the coward's path into worse dangers. Wilderness is very dangerous. Think things will be better if we leave town. Pirates will rape you. Slavers who will sell you to the pirates. Bring a weapon, bitch. Those pirates must be Gal the Greater's men. We know that he has holdings near here, and he has flyers. We had a flyer once. Never heard of Gal the Greater. You kill them with your hairpiece. I wonder if the Chinese women uh, practiced anything like uh, like uh, trained with weapons. I'm not sure about the Chinese women. The Japanese women trained with those naganatas, the fucking stick with a blade on the end, those spear things. Why did the great dam open? If the dam is open, why is the river so? He tell me parrots. Who the fuck is Fu Yao? Did she say anything about Fu Yao? <laughs> Maybe I'm drinking too quickly. I should slow it down a bit. How much of the bottle is left? Oh, I haven't drunk much. There's still a lot. I've only done about a quarter. Fu Yao. 
I'm thinking of doing this one just because it seems like it's a quest. You know, where's Fuyu's father? Quest, find Fuyu's father. So I'll click that. Live in town is small. Blah, 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 blah. Many people die on tiny deaths. Walk, 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 walk. Is that really how they fucking say it? Look, she says only like, I don't know, 10 words or less. And then you got all these words here. The survivors must carry on as best they can. Now Fu Yao and I should be on our way. If we must break the wilderness, I would rather do it with the sun still in the sky. Another thing if you learn Japanese or a subtitle language, or at least on the Japanese one, if you learn it, you'll notice that the subtitles are nothing, sometimes nothing to do with what they're saying. If you understand the odd bit, like I sort of do, understand the odd word, and then the word I understand is nothing to do with what they're saying. They sort of make up their own story with the subtitles. I will let you be on your way. Why did the great dam open? If the dam is open, why is the river so low? <coughs> Can you tell me about pirates? What? Where's your angry face? I won't let you go anywhere. Why did the great dam open? Okay. If the dam is open, why the river so low? Uh, water backed up, drained very slowly. So maybe I have to stop the river flow. Pirates. Okay, yeah, fucking hell. Why do I have to keep pressing continue? Do it yourself. Why the dam open? Did I ask that already? Here's another thing I don't really like about the game. I want to kill these bitches. <laughs> they won't let me. I want free will. I want to kill them. If I cut, the, cut them up with my devil hands. Damn it. Where's my free will? Look. She's in my way. I could punch her. I could beat her the shit out of her. More free will. Come on. So I want to be a bastard. Look. Where the fucking ghosts? Ah. Uh, That's why I want to game. Complete free will. Do whatever the fuck you like. Not like Half-Life. I liked Half-Life until... Well, I, I still liked it, but I mean... I liked Half-Life until I got to that part where... If the... That guard dies, it says Freeman... Uh, whatever, come, whatever came up. But you couldn't let the guard die. You needed him to open the door. They could have done two options. If the guard dies, there's another area you can... There's another way you can go. I thought they did that earlier with the scientists. There was this part with the scientists. There's a stairway you go up. But apparently the door glitched on me and I was able to get through it. Why am I going down here? Go back. I don't want to move on. No, why are you living up for going through fucking walls? Oh, a box. Oh, that's opened. Now let's have a look around here first before we carry on. Where did I? Where was I? Where did I go, Jade? Or oh, jo John Star? Dawn Star? I went. Uh, I went around the back here. How did I go over there? What did I do? How did I end up around there? Oh, I got confused. Okay. That leads back to that part where I killed that guy. So I don't want to go that way anyway. Oh, river. There's not too much to ask. Free will. 
free will is in, I want to activate attack mode so I can punch Dawnstar here. Or punch anyone, I feel like it. Look, you can do the roll, the attacking roll, but enter attack mode in your free roll mode. Ah. Graves. Little mounds for their graves. I suppose it would be pretty hard to make a completely free roam game. If you made a really, really, like, realistic game, you'd be able to break this. You'd be able to break this, break this. You'd be able to dent walls with certain things. If you hit it with a crowbar, little dents appeared. And if you sat there hitting it for about an hour, it would eventually get all the way through. <laughs> or if you stuck a bomb there, the whole wall blows up. It'll take years to make, though. I don't think anyone has that kind of time. Plus, the problem is, by the time they've made the game, new graphics and things have come out, so their game's obsolete. Although, if they did make Out something like that, woman. in this town we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. Woman, I thought that was a the man. Oh, it is a woman. Village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. You Ooh, look at that guy over there. A woman, a you pervert. This whole town has to learn its place. Perverts. <laughs> what are you looking at? This doesn't concern oh, Fuck me. you, cunt. I can look at you if I want. Look at your ugly face, you bitch. Hey, are you fucking proud? Where's your angry face, you tosser? Leave her alone or you answer to me. I'm not looking for any trouble. I just want to watch while you rough her up. Yeah. you got a smart mouth. Let's see how smart <laughs> it is after I knock out all your teeth. Oh, then, you fucker. I don't know if I have teeth. I haven't opened my mouth yet. Ow, you hurt. I'll go for this guy. Double kill. 